Hey Cougars, I'm Ethan. Wait, hold on. What? I don't think this background's scary enough. I mean, it's okay. But it's Halloween. It's supposed to be scary. Yeah, I guess I guess we can make it spooky. Much better. Now let's see what's happening this week at Creek. Congratulations to our nine National Merit Scholars. What's a Merit Scholar? These are the students who are recognized for having a high PSAT score. Oh, okay. Well, the commended scholars are Javir B, John Hearn, Ethan Lloyd, Cole Morris, Yashomadi M, Prachi Saha, and Scott Williams. And the semifinalists are Ian Madsen and Lorna Sanders. Great job, guys. Homecoming night is right around the corner, Cougars. I'm excited for homecoming. I already picked out my disco suit. Dude, the homecoming theme for this year is Beauty and the Beast. Oh. Well, I guess I need to get a new dress. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh. Well, if you need a guest form for the homecoming dance, go to room 2326. We'll be right back after this short break. Seriously? You're late again? You know I'm gonna have to give you lunch D-Hall for this. Eh, I don't care. You've been having so many tardy lately's that they're probably gonna give you DMC. Really? Mm -hmm. Stupid. Angel, come here. Okay, you being tardy is not acceptable. Being tardy is a bad practice. If you do it over time, it builds, that behavior builds patterns. Those patterns build your character. So what you're telling me is you lack responsibility, you lack drive, you lack motivation. You don't want to display that as your character, because that's who you really are. Change your behavior, show up on time where you're supposed to be, and then everything's gonna be great, okay? Your character should not be being tardy, being late, having no drive, no motivation, no responsibility. Change that behavior, you'll change your character. Hey Cougars, this is Soccer Creek Sports. I'm your host Cameron. Let's get right into it. Varsity football lost a previous game against the South Ferry Bobcats, losing with a score of 26 to 14. Our Cougars fought a three and three on the season. Varsity volleyball wrapped up their season with a win against Jersey Village. Great job, Lady Cougars, on an awesome season. The Adam Sound musical is slowly creeping up with the first show on today at 7 p.m. You can watch it here at Sight Creek in the auditorium, so come by and check out this not so normal family. And a huge congratulations to the Side Creek Band for getting all one ratings when they went to UIL last Wednesday. The show was amazing with great visuals and music, so let's give them a round of applause. Help out our choir by being a part of the dinner at Creek hosted by the Choir Booster Club. It will be Monday, November 6th, located here at school in the Commons. The admission fee is $5 per person, but if you want a show, the price will go up to $15. You can get the tickets from a choir member or go online. That's it for me, guys. See you next week. Hey Elvis, did you miss out on taking your picture? No, my picture turned out fine. I rocked it. Those with the last names A through L on October 31st will have picture retakes, and N through Z will be on November 2nd. And where are they going to be at exactly? That's a good question. The retakes will be located in LGI 1 during all lunches only. Just make sure you don't have anything in your teeth. Uh, that's too much, Elvis. Too much. Well, that's all we have this week, Cougars. Now let's check out a new episode of The Commons Perspective. So, what are you guys going as for Halloween? I'm going as Marty McFly. Aaliyah. Well, Aaliyah. I'll be a wrestler. I'm be a purger. Um, like a cat. I'm gonna be Ash Ketchum. 
a Leaf Ninja. You know, I got the headband in my backpack, so. I plead the fifth. I'm probably gonna end up being, um, I don't know, Black Panther or something. Seems right. If you could dress up as somebody for Halloween, what would you, like, who would you dress like up as? Like anybody? Well, anything for Halloween. Anything. I'd be, I'd be one of these fake girls in school. <laughs> so, so a snake, essentially. Yeah, a rat, <laughs> an animal, a, a creature, a slithering sloth. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I'm on a, on a for real. I'd probably be one of my one of my favorite legendary um, celebrities. I'd probably be um, Johnny, like somebody like Johnny Depp. If you plan on dressing up for Halloween, what are you gonna be? I'd probably dress up as a clown. I think I'd be uh, Jerry Seinfeld. You know those girls off of Clueless? I'd be Skater Punk or The Purge. You heard me? Going as a really tall Spider Man. <laughs> I want to be me because I'm so cute. Uh, to be honest, I would be a train. Yes, a train. It's creative. So, what's your favorite candy to get on Halloween? Almond Joy. I don't even. <laughs> I like Starburst, so, yeah. Anything chocolate? If you give me an orange, I'll probably kill you. That's understandable. Twix. Uh, Twix? Twix. Uh, Twix. Twix? But it gotta be left Twix though because I'm left handed and most of the people in the world are right handed and that makes me feel some type of way because everybody I meet always be like right handed so I be like it gotta be left Twix or we ain't down. I mean. What's your favorite candy to get when you're trick or treating? Reese's peanut butter cups. Any chocolate. Three Musketeers. Same as everybody. Or lollipops. Lollipop. Cookies and cream Hershey's. I'm only doing this so I don't get fined. Stop, excuse. Uh, I'd have to say with Hershey bars. I gotta, I gotta love them. Skittles, easy. Reese's, Twizzlers. What's your favorite candy to get when you're trick or treating? Kit Kat. Kit Kats. Uh, Kit Kat. No, no candy. It's bad for you. All right. So, what's your favorite movie to watch during Halloween? Uh, ooh, Jeepers Creepers. Get out. Twitches in Halloween Town. Oh, well, me, I ain't gonna lie to you. I like Disney movies. Insidious. Insidious, boo. Jesus. They coming out with number four, Lord. Girl, they, girl, I watch Insidious to the end, girl. What's your favorite scary movie to watch during Halloween? I'm a big fan of The Conjuring series. The Conjuring, the second one. You heard me? That's the, that movie got me scared. So I'll go with The Conjuring too then. Um, what's that movie called? The Conjuring. Chucky. My Little Pony. Terrifying. I'd have to go with it because honestly, I do not like clowns. If I see one in real life, I'm just gonna run away from my life. Just, I will like leave America and go to Hawaii or something. Are you aware that um, Hawaii is a part of America? Yeah, I do realize that now is part of my state, my own mistake. What's your favorite scary movie to watch around Halloween? Shrek 2. We sort of, I go to his house to watch Shrek 2 with him. Well, sometimes we watch Shrek 4 instead because that was. Pretty damn scary. Thank you.